You ever feel isolated? You ever feel like a social misfit? Ousted from this society? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know that you're a warrior. And you move to the warrior drum. You move to the rhythm of a warrior. And it almost appears as if society fought you for that. You know what I'm saying? That society looks down on you for that. It's like you almost feel like a lot of times you just want to you want to just step out the line and watch it move. And the correlation that I'm speaking on with the line, man, I'm talking in regards to the way society's moving. You know what I'm saying? It's in regards to the way of society moving. It's like they're on a conveyor belt or assembly line. And you stepped out. And you're just watching brainless, brain dead zombies just continue to walk and step in unison to their misery. And it's fucked up because when individuals like you and I try to bring out truths or speak truths to those that we're surrounded by in our day-to-day activities and our day-to-day lives, it's like the look you're giving is like, man, why don't you just shut the fuck up and get with the program? But you know in your heart, You know in your soul that you can't do that Because you know something ain't right in his act Something ain't right in his act You know what I'm saying I mean Speaking for myself Ripping and running the streets For a large majority of my life Being incarcerated Being incarcerated and come home To a world That's totally Disconnected Totally disconnected From the morals And values Of a simply Basic family And how to interact And converse with others People are lacking in Because it appears that Everybody Is afraid to log off They'd rather stay logged on And it appears everybody's chasing Attempting To achieve some form of delusional utopia That they three see Via through our social media Reality TV shows And things of that nature You know like They have aspirations That are mythical And out of reality And it causes a strain and a headache When you stand alone And you stand on your own two feet Because you can see The man behind the curtain You can see the puppet master Controlling and poisoning And moving society The way that he see fit But society doesn't see that Only you can You know what I mean And I want to let you know That I feel you I understand Because I see it too Throughout my day to day activity Throughout my job Individuals I interact with This is all most of Is that people are just soulless man 
It's like the future, the future looks bleak and it's scary because it's like humanity is headed, is headed to a destination where we'll be replaced by robots. The basic characteristics that make you a human are being questioned now. With various agendas being brought to the table and pushed. The homosexuality, which is basic population control. The basic interracial dating to breed out and to create one race. Things that are that individuals of so-called royal families are saying trying to push genocide on particular people it's crazy the gender war is going on the roles between men and women has swamped out for each other it's a whole laundry list of it, homie. But it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. And for all my individuals that came from that lifestyle as far as game banging, ripping and running streets, now you're interacting or encountering some goddamn fucking white boy from Beverly Hills. Who's trying to Who's trying to give you a dissertation About your lifestyle And where you came from Because he felt he earned the right Because he listened to Coolio's Gangsta Paradise <laughs> Shit is crazy man And it's scary and it's bleak for the future Because this is what society Has come to And this is what's being promoted. The more evil, the more wicked, the more non-moral and savageness that's being induced and pumped into society. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy on every level. It's crazy on every level. And for my people that live in a big city, from New York to DC to San Francisco to LA, you know what I'm saying? That commute, go back and forth to work. You see it on the trains, you see it on public transportation. Motherfuckers don't even conversate no more, man. Because in their own mind, they're some type of superstar on a social media outlet. It's just a total disconnect. A total disconnect. Online shopping sites. It shut down a lot of mama and pop stores. And in certain cases, shutting down a lot of big stores that had a variety of merchandise. I mean, shit, it's like, you know, 10 years from now, there'd be no need to step outside. No need to see what's really going on. Because for that moment, Everything available to you would be through the swipe of a screen and the touch of your keypad, you know what I'm saying? And once you notice and see this, it becomes realer and it brings me back 
to 99 with my lightner was informing me about a book called Behold of the Pale Horse. And he was telling me about conspiracies, breaking down the back of a dollar bill, you know, all that stuff. And I was blowing on some purple haze at the time. And I really didn't give it any thought. I was just kind of in my mind like, yo, this nigga's crazy. But I remember he grabbed my arm and he told me, he's like, yo, look, man, if you don't do the knowledge to this book by 2000, you wouldn't know what the fuck is going on. Well, unfortunately, I didn't decide to read that book until 2010. When I was in the penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? And I felt real, real fucking dumb. Because I thought back to what my lightning told me. And everything, everything that William Cooper said in that book, Behold the Pale Horse, it came to light. It came to light, you know what I'm saying? And coming home and seeing that man, it's like, wow, that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can't really put into words, but it's just so real. And individuals just, as a society, fell right into the trap. And you see what the objective is, is to your eyes, to keep your eyes glued to your screen. And don't pay attention to what's going on in the sky. Don't pay attention to what's going on beneath you or around you. Don't look up for nothing. Just keep your eyes glued and locked and screwed on the screen. And as long as you do that, everything will be all right. <laughs> but it's a delusion, you know what I'm saying? And through these videos I produce, man, the agenda that I'm pushing, I want people to think for themselves, man. I want people to have an understanding for themselves. I want people to liberate themselves mentally, man. Don't log on. Log out. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and make a new friend today, man. Polish up on your conversation game. Learn some new things. Get in tune with nature. Learn the patterns of the birds. Pick up a book and read. And pay attention to what's going on around you. Because life will pass you by. Before you know it. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. And that's just my sentiment and my thoughts. Of watching a society in decay. Because of a dumbed down population. 